cigarettes staring at the moon we'd go to bed in my arms you're safe and sound without a thread and i can't wait everybody welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be showing you an easy peasy simple daytime look that anybody can let's get going with this video it's gonna be a voiceover so that you guys will get to see the products I'm using over here and also how I use it it's nothing different from what I used to do but it's basically just a nice simple springtime look so come with me So I've already moisturized my face and before I apply any makeup, I will use a primer to prime my face. In this case, I'm using the Black Up Mattifying Primer with sunscreen, which is amazing in the summertime. It really stops me from sweating. Then I use the MAC Stud Eye Pen and I always use this. I've been using it for the last six, seven years and I use it basically to draw the contours of my brows the way they should be, if I had any, obviously. Then secondly, I use angled brow pen and I just basically make sure that the stud eyebrow pen is filled in properly before I now use the MAC Chestnut Lip Pen, which is basically a brown pen and it's great to use in the beginning of your brows because that gives you an ombre faded look. And as you can see, it's brown, so it's closer to my skin tone. When I only use stud, it can end up being quite harsh on my skin because it's very black. So I use the Chestnut eyebrow Lip Pen to basically fill it in and then I go in with the NYX palette and the Pro Longwear Concealer and I mix them together to clean up the brows. I'm going in using my Inglot palette with all of my favorite colors I've collected from Inglot and I put them together in the palette. I'll be using the nude brown color basically as a transitional color and I apply that on basically on the globe of my eyes to make the transition a little bit softer. Once I'm happy with the transitional color, which came out amazing, I absolutely love the pigmentation in these products. I go in and I use a lighter goldish color. It's still got brown undertones, so I apply that over my lid with a flat brush. And as you can see, it instantly brightens up my face and makes it look much more open and wide awake. So I apply that all over the lid, but I'm avoiding the outer corners of my eye. 
Now I'm using the darker copper color to go in in the middle of the eye basically to give it just a bit more pop of color, a little bit more brown, a little bit more copper that I have found makes my eyes look a lot more seductive and wide awake. Once I'm done with the eyeshadows, I use my Inglot palette, which I've put together myself again, using the lighter powder basically to set underneath the eye where I've put concealer. Then I go in with my Taint Doll. There's a video on my channel showing you um, first impressions of this foundation. I use shade number 13 and I apply that all over my face. This is the foundation I use over the summer because I found, I found that it's very light but it covers enough. It's got full coverage but it's a very light product over your face. As you can see me apply it, you can see how it just literally blends everything to seamlessly together. It's just, I don't know, I just love the taint doll foundation it's not the cheapest foundation but it's a foundation that I literally buy as soon as I'm running out halfway I go out and I purchase one because I'm like I can't live without this here you can see basically that the foundation is exactly what I promised you would be absolutely flawless then I go back to the same mixture using the NYX palette and my pro Longwear concealer I like the mixture of the two because it gives you really full coverage when you're doing a highlight. And the highlight is always, I apply it underneath my eyes, I apply it on the tip of my nose, um, and I also apply it on my forehead, on the top of my lips. Just areas that I want more attention to, basically. Then I go in with my Beauty Blender and I blend all the areas that I have highlighted. As you can see, Beauty Blender is my best friend. That's my best friend, that's my best friend. So I will blend everything out so that we don't have any harsh lines because there's nothing worse than harsh, harsh lines. I think I just did the dab, so I apologize profusely about that. I love the Taint It Doll so much, I go in with number 15, which is a darker shade, and that is what I use to contour during the summertime, because it just, you will see in a second when I start blending it, it blends seamlessly because it's a foundation, but because of the richness of the product and how dark it is, it works perfectly as a contour. So this is my go-to contour in the summer because it sits as well as the foundation, it blends as well as the foundation, and I'm just really happy. I don't know what face I just did right there. I'm really sorry about that, but check this out. Look at how it blends into my skin. It creates shadows exactly where you want them, and if you use a beauty blender, you will end up getting a really lovely, oh, chocolatey goodness color going on. And then I'm also going to go in and blend the nose. Mind you, when I'm blending my nose, I blend it towards the middle of the nose. I don't just spread it out. I just go towards the inside of the nose, which is perfect. Now I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup and because it's springtime, summertime, I don't really do the whole baking thing. I just apply the powder and then I work it into the skin using my Beauty Blender. And you will see that you will get similar effect and you won't get any creasing underneath the eye, which we all don't like. So I apply it underneath the eye, on the tip of my nose, on my forehead, basically areas that I previously highlighted, I'll go in with this and basically set it. And you guys know I've been using the Sasha Buttercup for ages. There's a video on my channel showing you first impressions. Then I go in with my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. And this I will use on all areas that I haven't highlighted. It's, it blends into your skin, it takes on your color, and it just doesn't affect even your contour. It works absolutely fine. And I go on the side of my nose there as well. If you look at the powder, once you apply it, it looks quite whitish brown but 
once you're done with it, it's just, it's set perfectly. Then I go back with my um, Inglot palette that I created and I use their chocolatey brown powder, which is a translucent powder really, but it works really well because it's highly pigmented and I apply that on the areas where I previously contoured. Then obviously I do um, go back to my eyes and I'm using the Body Shop Felt Tip Eyeliner. Now this is my go-to eyeliner because it just works perfectly, it's foolproof. You just draw it on and it just follows, it never dries out, it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect and it makes my life easy when I'm doing my eyeliner. And now I'm also going to go in and highlight on the highest points of my face using the Black Up Strobing uh, stick and it just gives you a very subtle highlight and I really like it because it's just oh It's so subtle that I, I just I can't believe I've lived without this um, For so long. Um, it's not a very strong highlighter. It's just a strober So it just gives you a glow Without it being so silvery golden which can easily happen with highlight because we all love highlighters Then now I'm going in with my sleek blush and this one is in the shade Flushed and I'll just apply that around the apples of my cheek but going upwards. Before I finish my makeup I obviously go in and spray some setting spray after I've done everything. The reason why I use the setting spray at this point instead of when I'm complete is because when I do mascara and I spray this on my face I end up getting transfer on the lower lash line which I don't like. And now I'm going in with my chestnut lip liner on my actual lips as is, it was intended. So I apply that on the contours of my lips and I have found that this helps my lipstick stay on a lot longer than if I just go without a lip liner. Now I'm using the Ordain Beauty um, lipstick, matte lipstick, liquid lipstick called Melanine. And I really love it because it's nude for my skin tone. When I use nude, it's generally beigey colors, but this is actually a brown color. And now I'm going into my lower lash line with the Cole Pen from Body Shop, and I'm applying that so that it gives my eyes a little bit more seductiveness. You feel me? You get me? Yes. Then on top of the Melanie um, lipstick, I also apply a nude lipstick from H&M, which was about, I don't know, 99 crowns, really cheap. And I apply that on top of the melanin just to give it a little bit more brightness because I really quite like that. And if you know me or watch previous videos, you know I'm addicted to Ardell Wispies. So I buy them in bulk nowadays. I buy like the multi-pack and I buy about six, seven of the multi-pack. So it lasts me about a good six months plus. And they're really cheap from Amazon as well. And I apply it using silicone free um, lash glue from Inglot and I can really recommend that if you've got sensitive eyes. This is what it looks like when you're done. Without a thread 